know who or what caused damage to the natural gas pipelines that connect Russia to the rest of Europe. Several leaks were discovered in both the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 pipelines earlier this week. They have since been spewing methane into the Baltic Sea, prompting concerns over a potential climate disaster. President Biden said Friday he believes the damage is an act of sabotage by the Russians. It was a, a deliberate act of sabotage, and now the Russians are pumping out disinformation and lies. We work with our allies to get to the bottom exactly what it, precisely what happened. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent and Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan. Margaret, let's start with your new reporting about the gas leaks. What have you learned about the cause? Well, President Biden says there's an offer by the U.S. to investigate, including sending down divers so that they can actually build evidence uh, to bring the case forward. But at this point, the assessment is that Russia was behind it. Um, and there's a, a few schools of thought here. Why would Russia bomb its own pipeline or sabotage its own pipeline? It doesn't seem to make sense if you're thinking in a rational actor scenario. But uh, there are a few thoughts here. One of them is that this could be strategic misdirection. One of them is that it could be a warning of further attacks to come on infrastructure, including that of the West. Today, Jake Sullivan, the national security adviser, said the West has to be ready for more attacks on infrastructure. But thirdly, and I've had U.S. officials raise this to me, there is the thought that this could be the Kremlin uh, basically trying to limit its financial uh, losses. Uh, Russia was under contract to deliver um, gasoline, gas, I should say, to parts of Europe. And by cutting off that supply, it was not delivering on the contracts it had. So it was facing potential losses here of anywhere between 10 to $30 billion. If they can declare force majeure, basically say, we couldn't deliver if we tried, because the pipeline isn't functioning, it may help to get out of that. So that's one of the likely scenarios in the view of some U.S. officials that is being considered right now. And, Margaret, on the hurricane, you have FEMA Administrator Criswell and Florida Senator Rick Scott joining the show this Sunday. What are you hoping to learn from those guests? Well, we will want to get the latest, of course, on the ground um, in Florida, in South Carolina, and the other areas where FEMA is warning there could be flooding. That is one of their greatest concerns when it comes to loss of life. Uh, we want to talk about a number of things, including that tough question, Catherine, of whether some of these areas should be rebuilt, uh, because that is something that our own Ben Tracy has been reported on, um, that strategic retreat from some areas as they look at uh, more frequent and stronger storm systems. Uh, Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis called this a once-in-a-500-year level of flooding. So we want to talk about that as uh, we look at federal monies being dedicated to rebuilding is that how this, this money should be spent. Um, we will also talk to Florida's uh, current senator, former governor Rick Scott, uh, for his view on, on what is to come. Margaret Brennan, thank you. Thank you. And a quick programming note, you can watch Face the Nation right here on CBS News. It streams at 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern every Sunday.